proud of being American. Yes, I am. But I'm also one of those people that, however I'm proud to be an American, I realize they're not, the country is not perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like, I'm proud of being trailer park trash, but I know there are crackheads running around, you know? Like, it's one of those things, how I'm saying, like, you know, you're proud to be an American, but I realize there are numerous issues, you know? Right. It's saying, like, oh, there's an absolute, we're the greatest country in the world. No, we're not. It's right. like, you know, we are flawless, everything new. No, we're not, but I'm proud of where I came from versus, like, my heritage or deal coming up from just being an American. Mm-hmm. And, and that's kind of what I want to touch at how kind of like people were talking about how all of the racing my heritage, and I say mm -hmm. mine, put quotes around it, around right. that, of like the, the statues falling, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And my thing is there, there are two things. One where people talk about how the civil war wasn't about slavery, but it's a little bit over around there. It made me think of an, mm -hmm. an analogy. The Nazis did a lot more besides kill people. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, but unless you like like military history like myself and you study these things, you're not going to know what else they did. Right, exactly, yeah. What they did was killed Jews, you know, essentially, uh, Jewish people. So not even just Jews, you know, Roma people, you know, different types of, I mean, I mean, they, I mean, they basically looked, I mean, really Hitler's whole thing was that like, the Germans, even amongst the Europeans, they were the superior ones, which is why, you know, they were trying to run through France and run through, um, you know, all those other smaller countries that they, you know, invaded Poland and whatnot. You know, yeah. they just saw, they saw themselves as the, the superior ones amongst all mankind. Yeah, 100%. And so, like, when people talk about, you know, the Southern Heritage ordeal, I want to be like, yeah, well, you know, the Nazis, they, uh, <laughs> World War II wasn't just about killing everybody. <laughs> But, you know, like you and I both know, that was a big ordeal, much like with South, the big ordeal was slavery. Mm -hmm. so, um, so when it talked about, like, people bringing down, like, the statues and stuff, I thought to myself, what exactly is my heritage, being, a, being from North Carolina, being from the South, you know, and yeah. growing up, growing up around Confederate monuments. You know, growing up in the South, we've always been, like, Civil War history, stuff like that. I was talking to, to a relative of mine. Mm -hmm. and they're like, well, they're trying to race my heritage. I was like, what heritage? I was like, because, and I'm not, and I'm not trying to say heritage is there because there's heritage for everything, you know, mm -hmm. history. Well, it's one of the things I was like, when I was a kid, I never went and saw better monuments. Mm -hmm. Like, I never got brought to anything. Like, I saw Stone Mountain as a kid, mm -hmm. you know, cool. but I never got like taken to statues. I was never showed like, a real big history of them. Mm -hmm. And it's, to me, my heritage, I don't even look at Southern, Southern heritage ordeal as, you know, really my history because I'm like, I'm Scottish, German, and Russian, and like just pretty much all those fucking countries over there combined. Mm -hmm. um, because like my, to my grandparents, I know on my mom's side, came from Scotland and Ireland. Yeah. They, they met here. My dad's, my dad's side is German. So, mm -hmm. to me, that is my definition of heritage because I've actually looked into these things and because mm -hmm. my comes from that area. Yeah, if that makes sense. No, it absolutely does. But the thing, yeah, and the thing is, is that like you know, and and, and this just kind of touches on how fluid and you know the term, you know intersectional identities are, and how you know what I'm saying how uh, varied they can be because, like you said, while genetically you can trace your heritage to that. I mean, are there any particular cultural practices that you engage in that pe that people would actually identify as like carrying on like the cultural heritage or performance of of being from those particular backgrounds? Honestly, not really. Um, if, I, if I had to pick something, mm -hmm. I was, is I am I'm a very I'm a spiritual person, so I have to say like Wiccan and pagan. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough. My family practice, like my mom practice it. Mm -hmm. It comes from like, from where our roots are in Scotland and Ireland. Those, mm -hmm. uh, religions, not really religions, but practices of Wiccan and paganism. Mm -hmm. from that area. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what I identify with as my heritage today. Mm -hmm. I don't think Southern, uh, I occasionally like country music. <laughs> the food's alright. <laughs> 
and, and, and so to me, that's just kind of like, so when you talk about heritage and not hate, it's like, what fucking heritage? Especially yeah, when, it's, yeah, because the thing, because the thing is, you get to choose yeah. which things you want to identify with or which things you want to prop up. And then it's like, if you say that, oh, it's just what, you know, came before me or it's just what my parents, it's, just, it's like, you got to ask, okay, why are your parents supporting this shit? Or why are your grandparents supporting this stuff? Or like, who started this stuff? You know, yeah. uh, you know, they, they want to, you know, people who, who make that argument, oh, you're erasing our heritage and, and, and whatnot. But it's like, wait a minute, why is it that you need to have this symbol? of something yep. representing your shit if you know that this thing is true or if you know that this thing you know exists or has value or whatever because in other places you know like in in germany and shit they don't have any statues dedicated to like anybody part of like the nazi regimes and shit it's like y'all were the fucking traitors they just they, you know try to get rid of them but the, yeah. the but 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 they teach plenty of that history yeah. in their in their in their culture and in their schools and shit you know to the point where um, you go out in public and, and throw up a sig hail or say hail Hitler or anything like that, you're going to fucking jail. No questions asked. You, you can't even fucking joke about it. Yeah. And, and so it's one of the things where, like, because I do love art uh, in general. Um, I love all types of art, even art, even art that, that talks about negative things. Mm -hmm. right? Um, and so I don't agree with destroying statues or destroying anything art of history. Mm -hmm. I think it should be put up in a museum, much like the Holocaust Museum. Mm -hmm. um, and and because the Holocaust Museum isn't just about the Holocaust. There's mm -hmm. all Nazi stuff in there because I'm a firm believer that history is bound to repeat itself. You can't, like, if you don't study it, same shit will happen. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, it's just also because it is interesting to look at. These, these statues took time to build. Um, and should it be out in public for people to willy nillingly go see? Mm -hmm. I'm personally indifferent on it because it doesn't affect me the same way as someone else does. Mm -hmm. Do I look at it as erasing my heritage? Absolutely not. I right. think, I think it should be put in museums, much like anything art wise, you know, because yeah. like, like I said, they, they got a, a museum of death. They have torture museums. Mm -hmm. Like there's, there's a museum for everything. They become points of interest for people. People just like to go see the shit. It's like why people go like to go see, you know, mausoleums or like, you know, mummies and shit. It's like we like to just gaze at certain shit just because for whatever reason we find different things aesthetic, you know, uh, uh, more pleasing to look at or listen to or, you know, kind of ponder. I mean, it's just spectacles like, you know, people just enjoy looking at stuff. So, so in terms of like how I feel about like the statues and everything, like obviously I don't feel, um, you know, I don't have any attachment to the to the to these fucking statues and stuff, especially given the context in which they were erected, you know, because a lot of them were erected during, like, the Civil Rights Movement and during, like, the time when, you know, long after the Civil War was already done, um, because it was just a, it was just to snub people um, who were fighting for more social justice and social awareness, you know, so to me, I'm like, I'm okay with them completely destroying the fucking statues, um, and they don't even have to put it in a museum, they can just put up, like, a picture or something, or just like a poster or whatever the fuck it is. We're like, yeah, this thing existed, but we don't even want to have it around anymore. You know, because, yeah. you know, to me, the memory, the memory, the you know, you being able to see it, the memory will still be there. The information will still be there. Um, but I don't want to create a spot for people who still believe in that shit to go and see it, or to go and, like, create it as, like, a worshipping place, you know, or, like, a beacon. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to, like, my thing is much like the, uh, the Holocaust Museum, stuff like that, Mm -hmm. that from someone who's like who've been who because i went to a very liberal art school as you know mm -hmm. that the reason why a lot of these things are in museums is because a lot of people don't actually look at what they are but look at like the techniques behind making them so they they study it on that way so it's a lot more than just the context of what it stood for right it, it's like the making the process of it but also i just don't really see any races going like or because generally uh, Nazis and clan members are low income, low life, stupid people, and mm -hmm. I just they're going to try to go somewhere to further their education. You know about um, Mussol You know how Mussolini still has a a formal grave site and everything in Italy, the former yeah. dictator, and how people to, and how the neo fascists that have survived and shit who still believe in that they flock to that. It's kind of become like a mecca for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same thing. Like to me, I'm like they should have fucking burned his body and shit. Or send or put or throw them in the fucking ocean, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
like have no have no place like yeah because they'll create a vigil or whatever the fuck but i don't want there to be like any formal place for them to be like yeah you know if you're a neo-fascist in the year whatever the fuck you can you know come here and congregate with your like-minded peoples i'm like nah i'm like i'm like get rid of that i'm like fuck that shit it's like, you know like yeah i'm not saying like oh burn all texts of it or or you know make it illegal to get in society or really hard to get what i'm saying we aren't going to prop it up. We're not going to make it readily available. So if you are a person that wants to learn about that shit, it is going to have to be like either in an academic setting or you really are just interested in learning more about this and that. You know, it's going to be in the pursuit of greater understanding overall. That, that's exactly what I mean. It's like exactly how you said it. It's oh. like an art museum mm -hmm. or something where it's like the context of it is set completely differently, much like how the Holocaust Museum is. If you want to learn about it, if you're interested just in world history in general, mm -hmm. then you then you come here. That's where you have like the curator jobs and stuff like that. It wouldn't be anything where it's like idolizing it. Like, well, you, yeah. well, well, the thing you got to remember is that, like, like yeah, they're gonna be like the motherfuckers who are out sick hailing and getting the fucking swastikas in their fucking head and and doing all the posturing and shit. Yeah, they they tend to be lower because they don't understand the importance of stealthing. But there's more sophisticated. There's plenty of sophisticated fucking Nazis. You know, saying fascists and shit, who don't ever have to give a sign, they don't ever have to play into the performance and shit, but they hold those views. And so, like, you keep up with my posts and everything, and I'll be posting about like updates on like these boogaloo people and these fascists and these Nazis and all these different you know sub movements like that. I mean, look at the Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Like, like Tucker Carlson is the most sophisticated fucking fascist that I know of in mainstream media. Yeah, I, I and, think it's gonna be interesting to to see what happens. I was telling my brother, man, you can tell me Godzilla's come out of the ocean. I believe it. Yeah, exa it's like, yeah, you can tell me anything. And I'm just like, eh. I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, you know, After a while, you just got to accept the fact that maybe the time I have to be living in is when shit goes to hell. And that's Dude. just and that's just what ha and that's just what it is. You know, none of us gets to, you know, it just is what it is.